Good morning, everybody. It is um, Thursday morning, and our reading today comes from Romans 15, 1 through 13. We who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us must please our neighbor for the good purpose of building up the neighbor. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another. Therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God, for I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles shall have hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, so Paul here again is talking about living, living in community and living in community with people you don't necessarily expect to. You know, Paul, um, as a Jewish person, was not necessarily expecting to be living in community with Gentiles as fellow believers. Um, the, the Roman church that Paul is writing to is not ex was not expecting to live in community with the people they are living in community with. Um, we are not always uh, expecting the things God is calling us to, but we are reminded that um, Christ set the example for us. And when Christ was called to places that might have seemed unexpected, uh, Christ went willingly and with an open heart, and he welcomed those whom he met. And we here are called to do that and are reminded that we can get our strength for those situations from our scriptures, um, from the Spirit of God, and from one another. So today, I ask that you help to lift someone up, that you go and read uh, your scriptures, and that you pray for the Spirit to lead you into wherever you are being called. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, we give you thanks for this day that you have blessed us with. And we pray that you help us to to go where you are calling. We pray that we can strengthen one another for the journey and to, to be strengthened and to be strengthened by you. We pray all of this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through the power of the Spirit. And we pray that prayer Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Family, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.